Whew. Big day. Ersky, what's up, pal? We are live. Got a package. A monumentous day in wrestling figure history. Not, you know, Mattel getting the WWE license or their launch of the Ultimates line or Jazzwares making AEW figures and their launch of the Supremes. No, that's not what I'm talking about. We are talking about grapplers, gimmicks, a real in my hand. I honestly never thought this day would come. This is real, folks. What's up, everybody joining me? This is real. My kids are watching zombies in the other room. You'll probably hear them. This is a live unboxing. Grapples and gimmicks are a real product. Mitch, the hustle man, has done it. Ahmed. And the smoke train. All right. Okay. Gonna go smoke train first. Bubble wrapped. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Taped and bubble wrapped. Good job, Mitch. Let's see. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Holy cow. The smoke train, Charles Wright, all 700 names on the back, and Mitch's family as a cartoon. I don't know why we did that. I just realized the smoke train facsimile autograph there. Keeping true to the form. Pastel toy, because it's Hasbro and Mattel combined. Get it? Packaging feels pretty good. I mean, we're attached to the bubble pretty good. It's got the cane in there. Cane accessory. Pops, a lot of color. Grapplers and gimmicks. I'm going to go for it. Pops up the card. Real card. Oh, boy. Hmm. Huh. Definitely doesn't have a Hasbro feel. Hasbro feel. I'm joined by Madison here. This is kind of funny. Um, I don't really know how to describe this. It's nice. It has like a hand painted vibe to it. Almost. Maybe. You need help wiping your hands? Okay, mm -hmm. to be continued here. One second. Oh, here. I'll leave this like this so you can know what we're doing. Ah. I'll be right back. I'm doing my video. 
Oh, and we're back. Smoke train. Um, yeah, so I can't really make up my mind about how I feel, but I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not exactly like a Hasbro either. The cane. The cane has like a little bend to it, but fits great in his hand. Well, that's cool. Actually, really kind of adds to it there. Uh, I don't know. The plastic's definitely like softer than a Hasbro. Like, you can kind of like mush it. Not bad, though, Mitch. I'm, uh, I'm shocked. Shocked. Let's move on. There was smoke change to see. The bubble and the carding were. Very nice. Hmm. Okay. Let's get over to Big Tony. A.K.A. Ahmed Johnson. My Is your furniture from Bob's? Uh, I don't think I have anything from Bob's anymore. Big Tony. Oh, wow. Big Tony doesn't have the... The list on the back, Big Tony has Mark Canterbury, Ahmed, Nelson Frazier, Juan Rivera, the rest of the grapplers and gimmicks, and the little artwork. Black and white. The sculptor's getting a little shout out. Sal from Rush Collectibles getting a little shout out. Made in China, choking heads with small parts. Cool. Same thing. Same thing. I don't, sometimes I'm not crazy about both figures have these shoulder seams. They're very blaring. Other than that, I'm pretty surprised by how nice they are. I mean, I think they do the trick. This will be the real, uh, real test here. Let's see. Let's see. You stay here, Big Tony. Here is Hulk Hogan, Ahmed. I don't think that's too crazy. <laughs> I mean, I know we have a lot of fun with Mitch, but this isn't too horrendous. Looks pretty cool. I can't really put my finger on what's kind of off. The, the paint separating all the pads it's a little like sloppy and not defined maybe that's what's showing up i mean you know what i mean in comparison the height and stuff is there i definitely think that that shoulder seam should be you know back a little bit so it's not visible from the front here's the other Comparison I got here. It shouldn't sound like that moving. Um, yeah, I guess that's a <laughs> decent, decent point there from D Freedom. I don't know why that does that, but here is a Brian Meyer zombie that doesn't do that. Here's me in Smoke Train. Hanging out at a Major Pod live show. I mean, they're all in the same family. Yeah, I guess that's what, that's what it is. Like, everything is painted. Instead, nothing is molded in this color. So if you were to, like, take this apart, you'd get... Ooh, or drop it. You'd uh, get to the right. Yeah. You'd probably get some different colors underneath. A la, like, an old-school LJN. Like, you know, when you're Million Dollar Man LJN chips and there's black paint underneath, I feel like... That's probably what would happen here. But 
Not laughable, I would say that. Is it worth 40 bucks? I don't know. That's up for you to decide. But I don't think uh, this is all laughable anymore. I mean, this is a real action figure that came on a card. I will give him that. I thought this was going to be a... Uh, it has a little weight to it, you know what I mean? I thought it was going to be <laughs> a 3D printed, you know, tchotchke, pretty much. But uh, that's not the case. So you tell me. I mean, I'm sure this is going to be discussed for... A long time to come. I don't think these will be displayed anywhere in my room anytime soon, but I'm not going to get rid of them. That's for sure. Yeah, nothing will ever compare to the original because we can't go in a time machine and make Hasbro's again. But now we do have a lot of alternatives, right? Here's me and all my friends. Going to go out to eat. Uh, yeah, I think Godfather's likeness would be the downfall of this one and this weird joint deal but still kind of cool and i think the color selections kind of make it pop you know yeah all right guys any more questions uh, i'll take them before i get out of here i gotta go play super dad clean my kids cheeto filled hands no holes in the feet. No holes. No holes. I would say this... Man, I can't tell. I don't know what... You'd have to, like, break this to figure out what the color... Head scale. I don't know. That's pretty damn close. The legs do not split like an original Power Town. D, I think I don't think we'd be able to know that unless someone broke them. Oh, I can lift and see white under there. So maybe you're onto something. I can lift that and kind of peek in and see see the white. So. Yeah, they're going in the FOMO bin. Mitch, we gave you a real hard time about this, but you did. You did at least produce a real product that I do feel like did come from China, which shocks me alone because I thought you were doing some carny scheme with your buddy to make 3D printed fake figures. But uh, I'll uh, apologize for that because <laughs> he did make a real product. And I guess I'm somewhat proud of you. So, uh, but I'm sure this will be something that will be discussed for weeks to come. So, um, anything else? Not perfect, but still, it's something. Uh, yeah, Matt Cardona's takes will be quite interesting. Uh, until next time, folks, thanks for joining me for this attempted live. And uh, I'm sure I have no idea how to turn this off, but I'll figure it out. Oh. Figure it out. See you guys.